गाइस होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट अदील हेयर विद जेट एन अदर अनबॉक्सिंग एंड दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू अनबॉक्स द हुआ विद नोवा सेवन आई लेट्स चेक आउट द डिटेल्स दे हैव मेंशन ऑन द बॉक्स एंड एट द टॉप ऑफ द बॉक्स इट सेज एक्सप्लोर इट ऑन ऐप गैलरी सो दिस फोन इज श्योरली नॉट कैरिंग द गूगल प्ले सर्विसेज एंड द गूगल प्ले स्पोर्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द अदर कंटेंट दैट आर मैंशन ऑन द बॉक्स आर हेयर and the box itself says this phone is the Nova 7i and it has 128 gigs of rom and 8 gb of ram apart from that the color that i'm having is a crush green so that is pretty much it uh, they have mentioned on the box now we are going to unbox okay so now let's open the box and check out the component inside the box and the unboxing experience is smooth and at the very top of the box you'll find the Nova 7i itself we'll come back to the device later so let's put it aside and meanwhile let's check out the other components and then you will find the second box which is carrying the sim ejector toolkit apart from that it is carrying the quick start guide not just that but you're also getting a silicone protector inside the box and it is going to protect your device from any kind of harms the next thing that you'll find in the box is the mighty brick and it is quite heavy it is the same charging brick that you are getting with the p30 pro and it sports up to 40 watt of charging that means it is going to charge your device a lot faster compared to the other smartphones of huawei as well I don't think so that there is another company that is providing such a powerful brick along with their mid-range segment devices to their consumer to charge their devices this fast. I've been using this charger with the P30 Pro and this never disappointed me. Next thing that you are going to find is as usual the type C connector cable. It carries the purple shade inside the both connecting ends. This is going to charge your device faster and also help you transfer data from smartphone to computer or other devices. And next thing that you'll find in the box are the Huawei standard hands-free. These are like basic hands-free they've been providing with all of their devices. Even though most of the brands have removed hands-free from their boxes but Huawei is still providing them. It's a good thing so that you don't have to buy it separately from the market. So that is pretty much it about the unboxing experience. Now let's get back to the device and discuss about its design, specifications and other features. So here's our device and let's unwrap it. Okay, so the device itself looks fine and it feels solid in the hands. And if we look at the back, I've never experienced this color in any smartphone so far. I think the Mate 20 Pro got a color similar to this one but that was not this cool. It's more of an amber color but let's call it crush green. And let's peel off this wrapper so we could just have a clear look at the back. At the back you are also getting the quad camera setup as I've already mentioned and there's this Huawei branding. Apart from that there's nothing much and there's this text written that says AI quad camera 48 megapixel with aperture 1.8. Okay so let's press the power button together and meanwhile the device is turned on we'll speak about its design. So this device is carrying 6.4 inches display with LTPS IPS panel with a resolution of 1080p into 2310 pixels with 396 dpi's and 83.5% screen to body ratio and thanks to its punch hole display you are also getting a punch hole camera with the NOAA 7i which is a 16 megapixel sensor. Speaking about the right side of the device, you are getting power button along with a side mounted fingerprint scanner and volume rockers placement and I personally like the placement of fingerprint scanner. However, my personal recommendation is volume rockers should have been placed on the left side of the device that would be more appropriate in term of usability. On the left side of the device, you are going to find SIM tray. Let's open it to find out whether it sports a dedicated micro SD card or has a hybrid SIM slot. 
okay so you'll have to sacrifice your one sim to use a micro sd card but with 128 gigs of internal storage i don't think that you'll need to use a micro sd card speaking about the cameras this phone is carrying quad camera setup one of them is a 48 megapixel primary lens and it is a wide lens apart from that there's this 8 megapixel sensor and it is used to capture ultra wide shots then there's this 2 megapixel macro lens to capture the super zoom shot and then there's this 2 megapixel depth sensor to capture and provide the blur effect in your images the primary lens of NOAA 7 i is working at f1.8 aperture and rest of them are working at f2.4 aperture so that's pretty much it about the cameras at the back side speaking about the camera at the front side this phone is carrying a 16 megapixel selfie shooter with f2.0 aperture and it is a wide lens so you can surely capture wide selfies on the go NOAA 7i is carrying speaker grill at the bottom along with a type c connector microphone and a 3.5 mm headphone jack yes you're still getting the dedicated headphone jack with the nova 7i okay so now that the device is set up let's go to the about section and find out the specification of this smartphone this is carrying emui 10.0.1 which is running at the top of android 10.0 which is the latest version of android available in the market one thing that this smartphone is missing is the support of google play services and google play store Google Play services are replaced by Huawei mobile services and the Google Play store is replaced by Huawei's app gallery. There are millions of apps available to download but there are some that are not available in the app gallery yet. Major apps that are not available includes Facebook, WhatsApp, Gmail, YouTube and this is because of the ongoing conflict between Huawei and US government but you can always download these apps from third party apps and also through your browser you can simply go to your browser and search for the desired app and type for and write at the last of that for example if you are going to download whatsapp you can just type whatsapp for android and by doing that you can download the whatsapp's latest version directly from your browser and official website of whatsapp if you are going to download facebook you can follow the same procedure if you are going to download youtube and other apps you'll have to use the third party apps one of the major app that I'm using is up to down. You can always use this app to download the latest version of every software and it supports updating. You can also download PUBG Mobile and other famous apps like I've downloaded Emo, WhatsApp and Facebook. You can also download the Play Store but uh, it might not work. You'll have to figure out some technical aspects to make it work. As far as the battery life of Huawei's Nova 7i is concerned, this phone is carrying 4200mAh battery and it is going to last a day without any worries. But if you are a massive user of smartphone and you'd like to play games a lot, I'd like to mention that this phone is going to last up to 7 hours. Apart from that, the 4200mAh battery pack could be charged up to 70% in 30 minutes with the 40 watt charger that is being supplied in the box. So you won't have to buy an extra powerful adapter and that is another good thing about this device. Okay so now that we are in the camera app uh, you can find that this phone provides AR lens support. Apart from that you are getting night mode then there is this portrait mode then there is this standard photo mode so you can capture high res images and there is this AI features that are also going to help you smooth your skins and a lot of other features like color grading etc. Apart from that, if we go into the video mode, you can find that this phone sports a beauty mode. Um, I won't recommend using it. Then if we go to the setting, you can find this phone sports up to 1080p's recording at 30 frames. There are phones that sports up to 4K resolution of video. This phone carries the latest flagship chipset of Huawei. So I think the support of 4K should have been available in this smartphone, but this is missing. Apart from that, if we go into the more mode, you can find this phone sports pro mode. Then there's this slow motion shot, panoramic shot, aperture control, light painting. Light painting is available in high-end devices. Then there's this HDR mode, time lapse, moving pictures, stickers, documents, super macro shots. So you can capture super macro images. Uh, 
that's pretty much it about camera app if we go to the front side you can find this phone also sports 1080p's resolution video from the front cam and the front cam is a wide angle lens so you can capture wide selfies on the go as well so that is pretty much it about the camera apps now you are looking at the samples of this smartphone let me know how did you find them in the comment section below I will also cover an in-depth review of this smartphone camera in our review video and for that if you have not subscribed to TechWafer kindly subscribe and also like our Facebook page we also upload our videos on that. So let me show you a demo of how you can download the missing apps that are not available on the Huawei's app gallery. So I will recommend the up to downs downloader that is going to help you download almost every app. So once you open it and search for the desired app it will ask you to download once you tap on the download button it will say to install it let's press the install button and allow it then press the install and we'll wait for it to install it and once done it will notify you that app is installed we'll just have to click on it but following this method you can download almost any app even if it is not available on the app gallery YouTube app works seamlessly fine and let me show you a demo of how it works and by searching tech wafer we can just go to there now we are using the native Android app of Facebook and it works seamlessly fine without any trouble that was the tutorial you can follow to download any app in your smartphone easily so that is pretty much it about the problem of play services and play store I hope it is resolved. As far as the pricing information of Nova 7i is concerned, it is going to cost you 44,000 Pakistani rupees. And with that being said, I'd also like to mention that I've been using this smartphone from past two weeks and the performance and the battery life that it provides, it is going to provide a solid competition to its competitor in the same price segment. So that is pretty much it about the unboxing of Huawei's Nova 7i. I hope you liked this video. If you really liked it, press the like button and do not forget to subscribe to TechWafer and press the bell icon so you never miss another update from us. Apart from that, do like our Facebook page. We also share all of our videos on Facebook page as well. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.